We have a nine hours drive with a bus to St. Petersburg. So then uh, three hours flight from St. Petersburg to Calgary, then three hours in the waiting hall of the airport Frankfurt, and then another 11 hours flight from Frankfurt to Calgary. At 1.05 we were at the airport, so at 2 we were in the, at the reception, at 3 uh, had a lunch at the noodle uh, factory, and at 6.30 we have an exhibition game in Strasbourg. Our team is uh, right now first in the Western Conference and first in the, in the whole league of Russia. It's really good team, we have a really good team. And starting from 2006, uh, this is our forthcoming. Oh, it was on the 7th of September uh, when I was uh, told that the so there was there was an airplane crash and some of the guys are injured, of the locomotive guys are injured. So and then probably in half an hour or so I was told that the so the, everybody is dead. So it was unbelievable. I was shocked. Like everybody was shocked. And it, it, it was it wasn't true. It shouldn't be a true. Everybody was so upset because everybody has very good friends from locomotive because we are really a neighbor city. So many, uh, so many young guys were died in this airplane crash. They, uh, they were 18, 19, 20 years old. The whole team Severstal were, was at this f funeral. And then in two days, the KHL season starts. They're good kids and also their badges, I think that they, they could just remember so that the, everything could happen and you have to, you have to, uh, to do every day, every day you have to, to do some for hockey, right? So they're full of emotions, and I think that they're looking, they're, they're thinking about the about the games, about the goals, and, and other stuff. Okay. So the guys are so exciting about this. It's a very, uh, very strong. Uh, th these are very strong teams, and uh, I think it's a very good experience for the kids. So to represent the Russia and the Severstal as well.